for any kid watching this video or even any parent watching this video make sure your kid follows any sport at least one sport of their choice and i say this for a reason sport teaches you things which goes way beyond your books way beyond college and university degrees i agree there are certain nuances to sport it may make you sad it would give you heartbreak one day however there will be occasions where there are some phenomenal superhuman performances that will make your jaw drop there are occasions that will humble you it will teach you life lessons it will leave you with thoughts it will teach you how to dream it will also more importantly teach you how do you believe in that dream and make that dream a reality hello everybody this is yash kandor for the international cricket network icn360 live here from toronto ontario why am i here today October 23, 2022, the Sunday will be remembered for times to come, especially when you associated associate it with the sport of cricket as the day when the world witnessed a spectacle, a Virat Kohli epic, an innings that was meant to be, which helped India edge past Pakistan in a riveting, pulsating, nail-biting encounter at the Melbourne Cricket Ground, the MCG. in victoria on the eastern coast of australia it's not a world cup final it's not even a semi final it's not a game where someone is scoring a crazy 35 ball 100 then what's all this hype about well it's an india versus pakistan world cup game arguably or should i say unarguably the greatest cricketing rivalry that the sport has seen with 90293 spectators and then virat kohli putting up a show and doing what only virat kohli can do harsha bogle said this on air i've seen virat kohli play for so many years i've seen some of his best innings live but i've never seen him shed a tear but tonight i think i've spotted a tear sunil gavaskar the great sunil gavaskar at 73 years of age there's a video going around in social media showing him jump with joy like a 5 year old kid who is just handed over a candy that he was asking for for the last 3 days that video and the terminology from harsha bogle on air sums it all imagine the amount of pressure you guys felt at home sitting nicely on a couch in your air conditioned home the amount of pressure that the players feel on the field is at least 100 times if not more A 145 year old history of cricket and I think 99% of the players who have played this sport professionally would not have been able to pull off what Virat Kohli did. However, like we all know, Virat Kohli belongs to that remaining the top, the cream, the 1% that can do it. I've always believed and established Mohali was Virat Kohli's best T20 innings ever and the shot that he played against England that short arm jab that he pulled over cow corner or deep mid wicket was probably the shot of the century however virat today has outdone himself the magnanimity of the occasion the context of the situation india with their backs against the wall and a slap to the critics face all those who did not want virat kohli in the world cup squad only a few days ago i hope you all are completely eating your words i would have paid my last dollar to watch that innings live it gives me immense honor pride a bit of arrogance and also a lot of flex to say that virat kohli plays for my country thank you virat kohli a lot of people just loosely say virat kohli is a once in a lifetime player or a once in a millennium player he for me is unarguably the greatest cricketer of this generation by a country mile not just a yardstick or two and arguably one of the greatest ever to have played the sport in every regard harsha bogle once said Virat Kohli has cheeses for dinner. I think I would go a step higher and say Virat Kohli eats pressure for breakfast and penance for lunch, and that's the reason why he can rip through a chase at dinner. I know there were 21 other people on the field who put up a great show as well because cricket is a team sport, and a spectacle that was on display like this one won't be possible with just one person. There are a lot of players who put their hearts out, gave their hundred percent. and the 90000 plus people at the stadium and billions of people across the globe glued to their tv sets at the best time witnessing a cricket spectacle like no other i'm going to start with ravichandran nashwin and talk specifically about the two balls that he batted and not his bowling one of the balls he did nothing which meant everything to india it's funny enough because he left a ball from mohammad nawaz down the leg side and it was a wide 
equation which was two runs from one ball was down to one run from one ball which meant india cannot lose from from, uh, from there on and then the next ball again with the poise with the calm just stood there in his crease got the full ball drove it over mid off and drove india to win presence of mind and ashwin are pretty much two sides of the same coin He's freakish in a way that he's cold. At that MCG ground at that moment, if there was one person who was the coldest, and I use the word cold and not calm, is because he was almost numb there if you look at him. It seems like he's so freakish that he practices these weird scenarios in his head all day. And that's why he's probably the best person for you in that scenario like that. Hardik was great with the bat. He strung a good partnership with Virat Kohli when the uh, backs were against the wall. Arshdeep and Bhuvaneshwar Kumar put up great performances. We say cricket is a great leveler and sport in general is and this was a perfect example with both these bowlers being blasted on social media just as recently as a month ago. Pakistan had their fair share of positives as well. They lost Babar and Rizwan very early which at one point was considered like oh that's it and that's the final nail in the coffin but that wasn't true. Iftikhar and Shan Masood strung together a partnership, a terminology that's not very heard of with Pakistan batting off late, but that was a big positive. And with the middle order getting so much time in the middle and actually putting their hand up, and the lower order then contributing with the quick runs, they reached a total of 159, which is awesome. All in all, a lot of positives for both the teams. At the end of the day, like I said, it was a riveting contest, pulsating contest. We use a lot of cliches in cricket like momentum, ebbs and flows. If there was one game that can do justice to all these cliches being used, it has to be this one. One team had to win, the other had to lose. At the end of the day, India probably held their nerves slightly better than Pakistan and that's why they were the deserved winners. This is just one game though. It's a big tournament, it's a league format, you have to still go on to win other games. This is a big win for India. These are the kind of games that bring the team together and set you up for success going forward. For Pakistan, it would be a tough loss. Any loss to India for Pakistan or vice versa is a big dent. However, since the game went down to the wire, lasted the full four hours and the entire 40 overs, I think Pakistan will take this with a lot of positivity. There were other games that happened as well, by the way. It's not just an India-Pakistan uh, bilateral series. It's a World Cup tournament. Australia were handed, the defending champions Australia, put up an insipid performance and were handed a massive defeat at the hands of New Zealand. That completely opens up the second uh, group because now net run rate, which is a, such a huge thing in a league tournament, like a multinational tournament like this, will play a big role. There are other teams who have put up a nice show with Sri Lanka winning against Ireland. England doing the honours and beating Afghanistan, but Afghanistan making sure that they are not just any pushovers. Lot of interesting games coming up. Thank you all for tuning in today. Uh, keep subscribing and keep looking out for ICN 360 videos. We are going to come up with more such shows, more such game analysis throughout this World Cup. Once again, thank you for showing up. Here's your host Yash Kandor. I'll see you next time. Thank you.